Welcome everyone, it's Dawn Duvall and it is Tuesday evening, October 10th, and this is pre-recorded. Um, tonight I am going to do another One Sheet Wonder template to help you make more cards in less time. And with the holidays fast approaching, I thought this would be the perfect template to do. Now, um, I will preface this with I am not a computer person and I have spent more time than I can tell you on trying to put this design together. So it is not to scale. It doesn't even look like it is, but I did my best. So I think I need to take a class on trying to de design. I used Word and maybe I should have gone to Canva. I don't know, but anyways, it's the best that I could get. So you'll get the gist of it. I will have that posted in our file section. But with this template, we're going to use a 12 by 12 sheet of pattern paper, and it will allow us to make 14 cards. So uh, let me in introduce myself. I'm Dawn Duvall. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up, and I have been doing this for 12 years, and I am glad that you're here. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, please make sure that you like my page and share. And if you're watching on YouTube, please make sure that you hit the button and subscribe and I'm sorry, subscribe and then hit the bell. And that will let you know every time I upload, upload a new video. And that helps me um, just move up in the rankings, which is what we all would like to do. So I would really great, greatly appreciate it. A couple of things real quick. And I know that you've seen this throughout uh, during the month of October, we do have a joining special. So you can get 35% um, off or you can add 35% in product. And what that means is you can purchase our starter kit. You will receive a 20% um, discount through March of 2024. And you get to choose, if you go with the less 35%, then you will uh, get to choose $125 in product and pay approximately 65. Um, you've got sales tax in there, so it may be off just a little bit, depending on what your state charges. And if you decide you want 35% more, then you get, instead of $125 for product, you get to choose $168.75, I believe, and that's for $99. So let me just say that one more time. So if you do the 35% more, you're gonna pay $99, and you're gonna receive $168.75 in product that you get to choose. If you want the 35% or less, then you're gonna receive $125 in product and you're gonna pay around $65 and some change plus your sales tax, okay? It's a great, uh, since the holidays are fast approaching, it'd be a great um, holiday gift to give yourself. And what better way to be able to stock up on some of the supplies and I'm sure like uh, you're like everybody else, unlike myself, we have a list that's a mile long. So um, you can just gift this to yourself for the holidays. How's that? Um, I would love to have you join my Crafty Girls team. Um, they do have access to my classes and my tutorials that um, I post each month to our group. And uh, once you join, then I will send you a series of videos that will help you walk to walk you through uh, the process of getting into our demonstrator site um, and learning how to place orders and all that good stuff. So. Anyways, I just want to make sure that you're aware of that. If I wasn't doing my job, um, you know, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't share this with you. So I would love to have you join my um, my community. Uh, the one thing I will say that 99, I would say 98% of my team is all what we call um, a hobbyist or a discount shopper. And they have no, I, they don't want to build a business. They just want to get the discount. So um, I would love to have you join my team. And if you have any other questions, please reach out to me. I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, so enough of that. Let's get started on our One Sheet Wonder. And I will preface this again um, with, I'm going to be offering, um, I do have uh, Make the Cut, which is a subscription service. And I am gonna make some changes to that and be opening it up probably the first of the year. So just be, and it's all gonna be about One Sheet Wonders and we'll go over that later. Okay, so I'm gonna flip the camera down. Now I am using, it would help if I tell you which paper I'm using, right? So here we go. This is our, let me turn it down. Okay, this is our Merry Bold and Bright Designer Series paper. And this is the one, and I'm sure you've probably seen cards. There are 12 sheets, um, 
six different designs. So there's one. Uh, here's another one. Let's see, the one we're using is the round. These are uh, more of the old fashioned, kind of pointy. And then you've got your dots. You have some uh, kind of uh, multicolored dots there. And then we have the um, fa la la, whoopsie, the fa la la paper, uh, which is the back side of that. We have a green with a red Christmas tree, which is beautiful. The back side of this one is the various colors of dots as well. And then this one, we have green Christmas trees. And that's the back. This is the back side of that one. Isn't that pretty? The paper. And then we have this really pretty uh, rainbow colored one. And then this one has that the back of that one is stars. So that is the um, Merry and Bright paper. There's 12 sheets. Uh, two of each design of 12 by 12 in this. I think it runs $12.50, and that can be found in my online store. So what you're going to need is a cutting uh, paper trimmer. So I'm going to bring in my handy-dandy paper trimmer uh, from Stampin' Up. And the nice thing about this one, especially if you're a scrapbooker, our arm opens up to 17 inches. It also is in metric as well as uh, centimeters. And our base of the cutter is these little squares or rectangles, whatever you want to call them, or every quarter of an inch. So that helps you maneuver your paper and make better cuts. And then the other part of this is that the right side goes up to one and a half inches. So if you've got a little bit of a smaller piece, it's easier to cut it on the right side than on the left side. So let me adjust my camera just a tad. Let me get this thing kind of straight. There we go. It looks like it's crooked. So here is our template. And it, again, it's not to scale. So just bear with me with that. And this is a very easy one. Okay, so our paper is 12 by 12. So we're gonna make a cut at five inches. We're gonna make two. So we're gonna cut at five inches, five inches, and then we're gonna cut two inches, all right? And once we cut the five, then we're gonna turn these and we're gonna cut them all at two inches. So we're gonna have a two inch by five inch piece, which is gonna make a really nice addition to your card front. And this template will allow you to make 14 cards. Uh, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is um, 12, 13, 14. This little piece here you can use, but it's probably gonna be a scrap, the number B, okay? All right, so let's go ahead. This one's pretty easy. So we're gonna line this up at, let me get my paper out of the way here. All right, so we're gonna line this up at five. So we're gonna bring our paper in and we're gonna hold it down at the five. And you wanna make sure whatever trimper, this one has a, a header up here that you can butt your paper up to so it keeps it straight. And then it also has it at the bottom as well. So you can check to make sure that you are um, cutting straight. So we're gonna cut this at five inches and we're gonna hold that. Now make sure, cause this has a pattern, okay? So when we cut our two inches, that means our, our two inches are gonna go this way. Now, if you want your um, design to go this way, then you're gonna wanna turn and cut the paper the, the, the right direction, okay? So I've got mine all set up to be in the landscape when I cut across. All right, so we're gonna cut another five inches. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna line this up at five. All right, so there's our two five inch pieces and our two inch piece. All right, so then what we're gonna do now, whoops, what am I doing? I need my paper trimmer. I'm getting ready to put it away. <laughs> I was getting excited. Okay, so our two pieces that are um, five by 12, we're gonna cut these together. That gives us the ability to cut two at one time. So we're gonna put them in our paper trimmer and we're just gonna line them up and we're gonna start at a 12. So we're gonna move it down to 10, right? Again, we're having math class. So 12 minus two is 10. So we're gonna get this lined up right at the 10 inch mark and make sure our paper is even all the way on both sides and it's not. So we're gonna take it back and it looks like I didn't cut it straight. So uh, go figure that one, but that's all right. We'll deal with that and we'll cut it out as we need to. All right, so we're gonna cut this at 10, uh, 10 inches and then we're gonna pull it down at two because we're cutting two inch pieces. All right, so we're just gonna move it down another two inches, which brings us to eight. And we'll keep doing this until we cut six of our, i leave my paper trimmer up there. And I'm just gonna stack them on top of each other. I'll probably go back and adjust these because it looks like um, I just had the paper wasn't, one of the sheets wasn't all the way straight. So again, you've gotta pay attention 
um, when you put your paper in the trimmer or you're gonna end up like me and have a little crooked piece, which we can fix it. All right, so this is gonna be down to four inches because again, we're cutting our two inches. All right, and then we've got another four inch piece. So we're gonna mark this down and we get these two pieces straight. And that's where I'll trim off. All right, so we're gonna move this over to two inches. All right, so that gives us um, our two inch square. So we have 12 of those, right? We're gonna put those right here. Now this is the two inch piece. So I'm gonna cut this in, um, at five inches as well. Now we could cut it since we have that extra little piece. Why don't we, instead of wasting it, let's just cut it in half and that will give us, um, no, that'll be a six. So let's do five and, a, uh, five and a half. So instead of doing five inches, let's cut this one at five and a half because that one we can have going top to bottom. And we'll cut this at five and a half and then that only leaves us one inch that will be a waste. So I think that's much better. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, now I will be back and um, show you the cards and then I'm also so now see how this one is going direct uh, the directional we're gonna have a five and a uh, five and a half long this way but a two inch this way but these are gonna run because see how I cut these two inches this way and then five uh, we did five inches on these across so these are five inch horizontal and these are gonna be five and a quarter I'm sorry, five and a half is gonna be vertical. So this was that little piece that we cut off that was two inches. So I'm gonna come back with cards using um, make uh, this paper and then I'm also going to do a second set that will do masculine cards for masculine birthdays because I need some. So I figure while I'm making them, I might as well do it um, and show you how. All right, give me a few minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I am back with the cards. I have uh, designed cards using the holiday paper that I showed you, and then I've cut another part of another section of paper of the um, Halloween paper and using that for birthdays as well. So let me go ahead and show you. Now, uh, don't forget you can download the template. It is in the file section. So basically what we're doing is we're taking our 12 by 12 and we're cutting it in five inches uh, going across. So we're gonna cut two at five and then do a two inch. And then we're gonna turn our paper and cut each of these sections at two inches. And this B here will be thrown away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make one of these, these right here will be five and a half by five and a half instead of um, five, okay? So when we cut this, this would be cut at five. I'm gonna cut them at five and a half. That gives me very little waste right here. All right, so let me show you the cards that I've made. Now, I chose to use four different colors that coordinate with this holiday paper. So I'm using um, Granny Apple Green. I'm gonna use uh, Flirty Flamingo. I'm also using Shaded Spruce and um, Poppy Parade. So let me kind of sort these around a little bit. All right, so here is our paper, and this is my first card. Now these are the these are the two inches by five, and my card base is cut at uh, four and a, uh, five and a half by eight and a half. I will put my white piece in the center. Whoops, I lost one of my doodads right there. Hang on, my little doodad didn't stick. My little sticky things. Um, let me put that down there. Okay, I'm using the very cute stamp set and some of the adhesive-backed glitter sequins, okay? So I'm using this sentiment. You're gonna see on the cards what I'm using, quite a few, I'm using this, the package, and these sentiments here, okay? So this is the Granny Apple Green, and I cut, I just did this in the uh, horizontal, uh, the horizontal position. And then here's another one I did, but I changed up the uh, sentiment and then I did the packages at the bottom and then here I did the snowflakes there's a large and a small one and then I stamped the warm wishes all of the sentiments are, are popped up on dimensionals and then here's one in the shaded spruce uh, using the um, poppy parade uh, color for the sentiment again I did the packages there 
And then I took the little bear of the Berry Cute and um, the paper. And then what I did was I made this um, banner. And if you had watched the World Card Making Day, um, I'll show you how to do this. You'll take a piece of five, um, It's I think it's three quarters by five. Hang on a second. It might be a half an inch. Hold on. Uh, yeah, it's a half an inch by five inches. And what you're going to do is you're going to score it at one, one and a half, and then flip it around and score it one, one and a half, or it's going to be one, one and a half, four, four and a half. And then you're going to fold, um, you're going to uh, fold the first score line, you're going to fold it under, and then you're going to bring up the tail, and then you're going to cut the ends of the tail. Then you'll just glue these pieces together. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. Let me get it up and under there. All right, so that's how I, all right. So that's a cute way of making a banner. And then I use some of those sequins um, from the set that goes with the Berry Cute. Uh, Berry, ba uh, yeah, Berry Cute. All right, so there's that one. And then here's another one on shaded spruce. And I did uh, white uh, twine, Baker's twine. And again, I stamped the, the little bear and I made uh, some little dots that look like snowflakes. And again, the same, uh, the sentiment is in uh, sh shaded, spru uh, shaded spruce as well. And this one has some snowflakes and the packages. And then here's some poppy parade with the bears. And again, the shaded spruce with poppy parade uh, sentiment. And then again, with the packages and the snowflakes. So you can really do whatever you want to do. All right, and again, the bears. I just love those little bears. I moved the sentiment down there. Don't ask me why I just did. And then here's another one I did, which is, let me get out of the picture frame, uh, with the warm wishes. And again, I just made a, a large bow and put that underneath. And then the two pieces that I cut on the ends, the ones that were two inches by uh, five, but I cut mine at five and a half, so I had very little waist, so it goes from the top of the card to the bottom. This is Flirty Flamingo, and I stamped the large and small snowflakes on this one. And then this one, whoops, then this one, I did the same thing, but I took some of the um, or Gonza ribbon. I think this might be retired, but I just thought it was pretty, so I added that to the back of my sentiment there. And then the last one I did, again, this one's horizontal, and I used the uh, shaded spruce uh, ink for that sentiment. And then of course, all of these will have a piece of uh, four by five and a quarter white, basic white on the inside. And I'll probably stamp something from that uh, stamp set on the inside as well. So those are the 14 cards that I made using the holiday paper. Now I wanna show you what I did. I wanted, I need some masculine birthdays. So I took a piece out of the Halloween, um, uh, paper set and I, I don't have the paper with me uh, handy so I don't know what the what the name of it is my apologies it's a little masculine it's um, a plaid that has Cajun craze black uh, pumpkin pie and a little bit of peacock so I thought this would be great for winter masculine birthdays so I took um, I used the pumpkin pie and here is the piece. Now this is the five and a half that's cut, the two that are cut like that. And then I used a two and a half inch circle. In this case, I used Cajun Craze, the two and three eighth circle. I'm using the um, Circle Sayings uh, stamp set that uh, Jessica Taylor um, designed for her million dollar in sales. And this is the stamp set here that I used for that one. And I stamped the celebrate in pumpkin pie and then the cupcake I stamped in memento black I colored this one with pecan pie and then I did uh, peacock pretty peacock and lost lagoon I kind of overdid so I just thought that this is a great way you could use up that paper and this would be more of a masculine birthday so there's the same thing the same color scheme this one is uh, pretty peacock and then that's lost lagoon up on top and then here is another one on pumpkin pie and this is on a circle of pumpkin pie. This is Celebrate is stamped in Cajun Craze. This is uh, Pretty Peacock, and then that's Cherry Cobbler. So again, something a little different. 
And then here's one that is the Cajun Craze background, and I've got the two and a half inch circle out of Pretty Peacock. This is stamped in Cajun Craze. This is Lemon Lime Twist with Pretty Peacock coloring that um, frosting of the cupcake. All right, and then here's another one using the two inch by five inch piece. Again, this is on Cajun Craze, uh, stamped in pumpkin, pecan pie, and then pumpkin pie for the frosting. And then this one, I cut out, I did the sending you A, and I stamped happy birthday in Cajun Craze. Now, this is only um, just this stamp. So what I did is I just went ahead and cut out the half circle, and then I did the same thing with a piece of pumpkin pie and then placed that uh, underneath that as well. So I thought these turned out pretty good. Now here's one I did in Cajun Craze and I did part of the circle uh, two and a half in pumpkin pie and then I just raised it up a little bit so it's not completely um, underneath. And again this is Cajun Craze uh, lemon lime twist and again pumpkin pie. And the hair is one in black, and I know it's a birthday, but again, I'm thinking fall birthdays. You've got, you know, October, November, December, um, even September. I thought this would be fine for a masculine birthday. And again, this is peacock and um, uh, pecan pie. And again, pretty peacock for the ink. And then here's another one that's a black card base and the Cajun craze uh, two and a half circle, as well as the... Um, the sentiment and then this is oh lordy this is a uh, berry burst for the cupcake uh, filter thing and that is fresh freesia I thought that was kind of a neat color I like those two colors together and I like it with the uh, Cajun craze and I used the color coach to help me with colors and so this is Tahitian Tide so I wanted to, I looked up pumpkin pie to see what went with pumpkin and one of them was Tahitian Tide and pretty peacock so that's what I did here. This is pumpkin pie, the base is Cajun Craze, and Tahitian Tide, and this is Cajun Craze as well. And then here's another black base with, again, Pretty Peacock and pumpkin pie for the frosting. And the same, this is Tahitian Tide with a Pretty Peacock circle and your pumpkin frosting. And then here are a couple of those half circles. So I stamped the happy birthday in black. This is in pumpkin pie. So I thought that did a really nice compliment. And then the last one I did the same is pumpkin pie and this is Cajun craze. So I thought these turned out pretty well. I really enjoyed, I really like these colors. I mean, I know they're a little dark, but I'm thinking for birthdays in the fall, you can't go wrong. And then here are the holiday ones. So this gives you lots of opportunities and ideas of what you can do with this template. So in Kate on this one, and which I didn't do on this one because this pattern can go either way, but on this one where I had taken the uh, two pieces, I cut these at four by five and a quarter. So I did two of those. Everything else is four and a quarter by, uh, I'm sorry, five and a half by eight and a half. This one is because I cut that paper at two inches by five and a half and it gave me the vertical design of the paper rather than horizontal. So I placed those two pieces on a four and a quarter by 11 piece of, uh, in this case it was Flirty Flamingo. So there are the cards that I created for you. I hope you've enjoyed this template. And if you use it, it's in the file section, so make sure that you download it and print it out or save it to your computer. And um, if you make cards, please post them either in our group or on my uh, Shall We Stamp page. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're watching from YouTube, you can message me uh, with your pictures. I'll be more than happy to post them for you. And uh, again, thank you for joining me. And if you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do so. If you're watching on Facebook, you'll like, um, like my page. Now this is being filmed, uh, streaming to our Facebook group. So everybody watching that should have a member. You cannot share it, but if you're on YouTube, please make sure that you um, hit the bell and subscribe so that you're notified every time that I update a new video. So that is everything that I have. Now the one last thing, because this is Tuesday, the uh, 10th, you have um, free shipping on $75 or more through the 11th. So don't forget that. And then also our join offer. So if you decide you are spending 
$65 or $70, then you may want to consider joining my community for $65 with tax, probably let's just say $68, $69, depending on what state you're in, and you get to choose $125 in product, or you can pay $99 and get to choose $168.75. I would love to have you join my Crafty Girls community, and if you have any questions, please reach out. This offer is good through the end of October. The free shipping is good through tomorrow the 11th, and that free shipping is on orders of $75 or more. So it might make sense, if you're gonna do that, is to join my community, and then you'll be receiving a 20% discount on all of your purchases through March of 2024. All right, everyone, thanks again. Thanks for watching, and I will be back. Uh, let's see, you'll see me on Saturday the 14th for our creation anticipation, and I will be putting that sketch out uh, tomorrow. All right, everybody, thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.